Okay, so as we talked yesterday both at Zoom and in person, I would like to for you take a look at these some of these before coming to class tomorrow, either at Zoom or in person in high school. No, we don't have a person in high school, sorry. It's a Zoom meeting. So the first one I'd like to remind you is this one. So if you remember we work on this in six point two we said what we have in alkyl halides, and this alkyl halides, so this is an alkyl halide. We have a weak, very weak base or a weak nucleophile, right? So either of this weak base and weak nucleophile, what does it do? It provide us with a path for a carbocation and that's what we're going to see so we are seeing a carbocation we see a carbocation because all these reactions that we have here the molecule has rearranged so if the rearrangement is here then that means it went through a carbocation I'd like to take a look at it and tell me or tell yourself what was the carbocation? We went through this to the class and we talk about that a carbocation could generate, so this carbocation that we generate first is going to rearrange. And remember, we all talk about that the tertiary, better than secondary better than a primary and then carbocation a carbocation can make this a little bit bigger so the carbocation so the carbocation also rear after rearranging follows a nucleophilic substitution so typically SN1 or elimination reaction E1 please go back and think about how you can provide a path for these four different, one, two, three, five different molecules, all rearranged from a carbocation. Thank you for that. Then, before Wednesday, if you have time, look at some of these slides that we have from the textbook. I was asking about 38 to 45. I wrote something here. So these are cycloalkene synthesis, Zytov rule, do you remember that? Hoffman rule, do you remember that? Stability, stability, naming alkenes. Then we talk about making the alkene. So that was dehydration and again carbocation. Rearrangement of the carbocation. Slide 70 to 73, we're talk, going to talk about acidity of acetylene. So, what is that? So, acetylene, if you remember, acetylene, put my paper up over here. So, we have a C, triple bond C. The question is this H. In the past, we talked about it. This is H is acidic. So you can use a strong base, strong base like sodium amide. So sodium amide is in, strong enough to remove this H to make a nucleophile, to make a nucleophile. So this nucleophile now, we can re react with, let's say, different electrophile, maybe alkyl halides. to make a new compound. And then we're going to also look at some of the reaction of alkynes, reaction of alkyne. Reaction of alkynes. So that's my slide number two. The slide number three that I made is again, stereochemistry of E2. We talk about that on Monday. We said that Br, which is a leaving group in this case, 
and H, which is the acidic hydrogen, they have to be on the same plane. They have to be on the same plane. Example of this is chair structure of this cyclohexane. We see there is a H and a Cl. So the base that we use, the base that we use is going to be a P transfer, as remember we call that, to a P transfer, remove this acidic hydrogen. Then the electron goes here, make a double bond here, and Cl is the living group, makes this product. Now, if, if you think about other H that we have, we have two H's that are opposite to the they are opposite to the CO. Both these H's are opposite to CO. Now, if you remove this H with this base, then the double bond forms here, and the leaving group is here. So it makes a different product. So we have two different products. And we have to ask ourselves, which would be the major? Is this going to be the major? Or this is going to be the major product? Please think about that. Slide number four. Same thing we did before. <clears throat> we talk about it again. The H and the BR. H and the BR. Both opposite to each other. We remove the H. Double bond forms and BR leaves. Again, these are all E2 mechanism. Two different products. And I said this one is a major, this is a minor. I'd like to ask you why. Why this is a major, why is a minor? And slide number five. Slide number five. We talk about SN1 and E1 are going through the carbocation. So the carbocation, let's say it forms from this molecule. Tertiary chloride, chlorine leaves, remember, carbocation forms. So this is my carbocation. Now, if the carbocation, and move my paper up a little bit, if the carbocation react with the nucleophile, a new bond forms. Now, of course, this oxygen now has an extra H. We're going to remove that as this is a conjugated acid to make an ether group, right? This is an ether group. Now, if the carbocation goes to elimination, so here, ethanol worked as a nucleophile. It could also act as a base. It could act as a base. So if it's a base, now it's going to remove the H as a P transfer. The bond goes here. So you're making a double bond elimination product. So we can have both of these. We can have both of these. We're going to talk about that. E1 versus SN1. And then we talk about how to make alkyne. I haven't talked about it, I'm sorry. We are going to talk about alkyne. So if I add bromine to an alkene, if I add bromine to an alkene, I make a Dibromo compound, dibromo compound. Now, if I add a base to it, strong base, I can remove H and a Br, H and a Br to make a triple bond. So this is critical to remember how to make the triple bond or an alkyne. Now, if the both alkyl halides or the both chlorine are in the same molecule on this, I'm sorry, on the same carbon, on the same carbon. Then, as you can see, the a triple bond forms, forms between, oh, sorry. It forms between the carbon and carbon, these two carbon. We removed one edge from here and this CL, one edge from here and this CL, so it makes a triple bond here. So that triple bond now has an edge, has an edge. This is an acidic edge. 
we can remove it with sodium amide, make a nucleophile, and that nucleophile is react with an electrophile, nucleophile, electrophile, to make a new compound. So we are going to spend a little bit of time learning how to make these kind of molecules, learn how to make complex molecules. So that's my little introduction for tomorrow. See you sharp early 820 tomorrow. <clears throat> I'm sorry, 820 tomorrow.